Hi guys, welcome to exam pack. In today's class, we have given this quadratic problem. We ask us to find the equivalent value for x. So let's start our solution. Okay, solution is first we need to simplify this RHS right hand side problem and yeah. need to simplify the left hand side problem. Okay. First, I'm going to take this 10 power root x power 6, which means 10 power the root x get multiplied 6 times. Root, root x into 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 root x. Okay. Now, the root x get multiplied 10 times. Root x into root x, x into root x into root x x root x into root x, x which means x get multiplied three times therefore g is equal to what x cube therefore 10 power root x power 6 is equal to 10 power x cube okay the both are same so first we simplify the rhs so now i'm going to take the lhs so lhs is root of 10 power 11 root of 10 power 10 root of 10 power 9 root of 10 power 8 this is what so first step i need to shift this root towards here so if the first step is this so now which is equal to Put that root here. So I'm going to shift this root here. So the root gets shifted. Then if this root shifted here, then this term gets squared. This is for the first step. So 10 power 11, the whole square multiplied by. So this root inside has this whole term. So just write that whole term. Whole term. So you put 10 power 10 root of 10 power 9 root of 10 power 8 okay so this is what we have here now g is equal to now the second step is we need to simplify this before root of root you see here this is in the format of a power m the whole power n which is equal to a power m into n so just apply that that by these two get multiple therefore 11 12 11 2 are 22 into 10 power 10 the root of 10 power 9 root of 10 power 8 okay so now next step is i need to shift this root also towards here therefore just shift that term okay so already we have two root now i'm going to shift the third root also now the root gets shifted then what we have to do? We need to square this entire term. So therefore 10 power 22 the whole square into 10 power 10 the whole square. So the both term gets squared and what we have left 10 power 9 root 10 power 8 multiplied by 10 power 9 root 10 power 8. Okay. I think you are clear in that. So now simplify this and write it here. Therefore or the three root okay then these two get multiplied 22 into 2 10 power 44 now we need to multiply we need to simplify this also for 10 power 10 so these two power get multiplied so multiply by 10 power 10 into 2 20 into what we have here 10 power 9 root 10 power 8 okay so now the next step is we need to shift the root also towards here so then draw four roots draw four nested roots okay so now i draw four nested roots then this term this entire term gets squared I put 10 power 44 the whole square into 10 power 
20 the whole square multiplied by 10 power 9 the whole square then what do you have here 10 power 8 so now simplify and write this entire term therefore g is equal to what we have here 4 nested root so just draw that and this power these two power get multiplied as i said earlier therefore 10 power 44 into 2 88 multiplied by 10 power 20 into 2 is 40 multiplied by 10 power 9 into 2 18 multiplied by 10 power 8 so we know that a single thing that is root x can return us x power 1 by 2 similarly root of root x can return us x power 1 by 2 the power of 1 by 2 similarly just apply this rule here therefore this becomes take this okay the inside term is 10 power 88 into 10 power 40 into 10 power 18 into 10 power 8 the whole power so if it will be like this we can able to multiple this entire term so if it has another root then what what to do again it get multiplied by another two similarly if i add another root then it get multiplied by one by two is it similarly here we have four twos four roots therefore 1 by 2 get multiplied 4 times in power. Okay. So please remember the steps. Therefore, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 becomes 1 by 16. Therefore, 10 power 88 into 10 power 40 into 10 power 18 multiplied by 10 power 8 power 1 by 16. Okay. So now this if you see here the base is same but the power if the base is same and in multiplication then the power get added okay so therefore g is equal to 10 power 88 plus 40 plus 18 plus 8 the whole power 1 by 16 so just multiple so just add everything for 88 Forty one eight 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 three is a twenty four four balance two eight two ten plus fourteen plus one fifteen. So what we have here is g is equal to ten power hundred fifty four and to the power of one by sixteen. Since eighteen powers, the powers get multiplied. Therefore, which is equal to 10 power 154 divided by 16. So, this, these two terms comes in two tables. So, 8 to 16 and 7 to 14 balance 1, 7 to 14. Therefore, what we get here in LHS is 10 power 37 by 8. So, now if you see the RHS, what we have here in RHS is 10 power x cube. So just substitute these two value of, if you see here, this term is equivalent to 10 power 77 divided by 8, which is equal to, this term is equal to what we found in our HS, 10 power x cube. So if base is equal and whose power is also, it make me equal. So therefore, x cube is equal to, its power is what? 77 by 8. So just take it we have cube. So in order to remove this cube, we need to take cube root on both sides. Now g is equal to cube root of 77 divided by cube cube. Then what we have here is the root of cube root of 77 by 2. So the answer for x value was nothing but answer for this question is this. Therefore, x is equal to here. x is equal to cube root of 77 by 2. So, this is the exact answer for this question. So, practice tries and tries. You will get a perfect answer while solving your problem. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.